of Swan. Um, I'm a registered member of Swan, and I can. I think you should go and check. I won't come here to tell you lies. But the the problem here is why will will professional accountants be bothered about technology? Whether it is in form of revolution or in form of AI or the others. I, I, I like to drop this. Since last month till this month end, I'll be presenting in all this society. I don't know how it happened. And it's, 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 it's bodysome, but I love it. And uh, honestly, Mr. Patrick did a lot to ensure that I'm here physically. I was even saying no one line. Because I was supposed to be just on another professional journey. And uh, he really tried. So let's appreciate him too. So, and if you look at the topics in all this business society, it's linking to artificial intelligence, digital revolution, accountancy, and the future, and all revolve around technology. That presupposes that we should understand that it is no longer a new that we need to get our priority right. Um, whenever I present paper, I talk too much, and it may affect some of us, just accept it. And later, give me money to appreciate you to say sorry for whatever I may be saying that you don't like. Um, the beauty of this lecture will not come out because I'm not having projector to display those things that I want you to really know. I have uh, sent my PowerPoints to uh, Patrick to send to you. So follow it so that you can, I will be more of discussing some things in that slide. The full paper you have is your benefit, but the PowerPoint, uh, my council member, I've sent it to you. Okay, so you, you, you will do us favor of doing what? Checking and have your PowerPoint on your on your phone so that you can. Yes, uh, please, apology. I've seen my people from Ikeja and all of that. I'm so sorry. I have with in mind to acknowledge all of you. We have met today. All the incomings that I'm seeing from Ikeja from everywhere. Please, uh, apology. Please, let me appreciate all of them. It is not easy at this time of day to leave your district and say you are coming to anywhere. Thank you so much. So, have given us a brief history of digital revolution on a particular slide that you see it. And uh, if you look carefully, if you are on this, just wave so that I don't belabor it. Just wave to me if you are on that slide. Please, everybody, so that you can appreciate this lecture. Open your slide on your WhatsApp. It's been sent to your platform. Okay, as we are opening it, just wave. Let me know that you are with me. I need about 50% to open it so that we can we can move on. Don't forget that this is the only lecture you have today. Okay? It's been sent to your WhatsApp now. Okay, so can we help others transfer to others so that we can have it? Have you been able to open it? Where? Do, you, do they have two district WhatsApp? So what is going on? Oh, yeah, send it from Mexico to the East. They said you should check. Are we there now? Oh, yeah, now please open and I want you to confirm. Don't forget I'm a teacher. Okay, after I open it, let me see your hand, please. No, not it's there. Just, just wait. God bless you. Now, let's go to that page where we have brief history of digital revolution. You will do yourself favor of going through things so that we can move on. And please document it appropriately. We will not come to this kind of place and give you a wrong thing. And that is how far we have moved from the day of John the Baptist to Spain. It will interest you that whether or not you like it, there will still be this kind of pictorial representation for future. And it will be as much as this. You know, if you can't, you will count like one, two, three, four, five, right? In future, when some of us will be carrying our legs one by one, those children that are coming will also do something of this nature. 
Because you see it now, we have 1947, 1950, 1951. God forbid that I was alive then. Okay? So, I saw a newspaper call that one woman was saying, in future, you will not need to run to your table phone, but you can carry your phone. Now, I saw another uh, newspaper call that says, in future, you will be glued to a particular device that you will be scrolling, scrolling, scrolling and to no end. For those of you on Facebook, just try and open one video. If care is not taken from morning to night, you will be scrolling and you will be scrolling and you will be scrolling. And if you are not disciplined, you will not achieve anything that day. Of course, seeing those video and short films are also part of life. Now, transition from mechanical analog uh, electronic technology to digital electronic as a way of storing, conveying, or giving information as being the beginning of uh, technology. And we cannot pretend that the adoption of computers, another aspect of digital economy, has not transformed our way of life. It has transformed our way of life. And I can confirm to you now that if they want to punish a lot of us today, just keep our phone out of our range. How will you feel? You feel complete. I'm saying, Chairman of Oba, thank you so much, my brother. You didn't tell me you are coming here. You are just announcing me online. That's a uh, Taiwan Monshoot FCA, the Chairman of Oba, and this is society. Okay, so that is even better. That is, if I take your phone out of you, what happens? You feel it, my bad chairman, sir, and income. You will feel it for one hour. Of course, hey, I've not gotten another job. I'm seeing another council member. I think the council member should just come. I'm not the MC. Please just bring of your meeting to the high table. He just entered the journey. He was just asking me, have they started? And none of you, not even you, madam, understand that maybe this has entered. That's one of our council members and immediate past chairman of the Nukuri Bagada and this society. The only district that more than I can. Let's appreciate him one more time. Please, he can tell you where I don't have seats, where my elders are. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. So, uh, it's good though. Uh, like you, what did you do? <laughs> so, you know, I just said it. <laughs> I just said it that pick somebody's phone out of his brain for one hour. Let's see what happens. That is even better because it's complete phone. Let them have a phone, but cut all the source of internet onto that phone. It is more annoying than not seeing your phone. I don't know who can confirm that. Now, if you don't want to confirm, I need you to do one thing. Just up your data. For just one hour. Your mind will not even be in this lecture because you will be struggling on how to do what, how to get connected. And I can confirm to you that there's nothing called internet other than pocket of all of us coming together to connect. If you want to discipline internet today, let everybody leave the internet. There's no internet again. I learned that one when I was just one year old. Nobody's love. <laughs> so it's been observed that digital is just offering the way we innovate and the way we do our things. Um, Adams, please let me send that paper to you. So it we continue to alter it. So if you learn entrepreneurial skill and the skill does not include technological skill, you are nowhere. Who is that entrepreneur that does not have a good grant of technology? And don't forget that it is not that you will not process your data. It is that you must process your data efficiently because data are raw facts that need to be processed. And then information you get out of the data processing effort confirms that you have processed data in the normal manner. And again, 
in our elementary information technology, we tell you that you can process it manually and electronically. In between, we have electromechanical, if you still remember. Those are the days you use punch machine. This POS receipt that you get now, how many of you remember in those days, those, um, I don't know the name they call those shops, that when you go there, when you buy something, they will still punch all those things. They don't then, not this POS that we are seeing now. But it comes like that, but the machine is very big. And then, when we started accounting, we were using Kalamashu. And I used to tell people, I use it. The issue with that is that when you make mistake on recording of those transactions on Kalamazoo, what happens if you meet difficult bosses like the one I met in my lifetime? You don't want to see where you paint. You can't use tippers, you can't paint, you can't make it wrong. Do you know what we do? You have, even if it is normal last that you want to paint and something happens, you must start all over again. Is there no punishment for accounting those days? But you can't say because you pass through that nonsense. Everybody must pass through it. That's the problem with our accountant of today. Actually, I have to pass. Must everybody now suffer before they pass again? I did not say anything on that. But look at it. Containers account, departmental account, Obama, branch account that you taught all these people. Where are we using it today? They are all necessary, but they are not necessarily necessary for this period. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And those are the problems we have. Call it problems because of the introduction of information technology could driven innovation. Look at the way I put it. Innovation will continue. But well, if your innovation is not driven by what is going on in the society now, you are at bar. And unfortunately, system will dispense with you. Because your relevancy will not necessarily be relevant again for future generations. Oh, are you still in that realm when the younger one talk and say, see the way he's talking to me? If you repeat it, they will talk worse. So you better let them be. In fact, I will not attempt to say, why are you talking to me like that? I will just pretend as if I did not hear. If I did not want to know when they gave back to my mom. Because all the reason. Uh, 2009, there was one particular slide I used to use for my CIBN ICT that I normally train them. That is the one with a, a baby that is pressing phone. I see we know that that kind of thing will still happen now. Those guys can operate this computer without going to school. And I give you an example. I before I pick this phone that I'm using, I have Samsung A A something something X. And I wanted to give it to my 12 years old son then. You know, as wise I, I thought I was, sir, I was trying to delete all those. You know, there's no way we don't have nonsense chats. I deleted my WhatsApp. You know, there's no way we don't have a boy in there. That one does not have English language. Mm -hmm. Okay? And I gave it to this boy. It took me time to do it. And he was just looking at me. Immediately I gave it to him. After five minutes, he came back and said that you did not remember to remove this password. He showed me my password. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. And that is at home. What about in your offices? You have to hand over computer that you are using, but you felt you are the best in ICT. You do not underrate the intelligence of those other people that want to serve around you. So, uh, much of the historical background you see, development and advancement of digital resolution, and I've been able to profile it from 1947 to 1979, what happened? We used transistor radio. Because some of us were not born with any spoon, not even talking about whether it is silver spoon or gold, we learn all the job, and you'll be amazed by the time I display some skills that I have. When we come back from school, in between school and the house, we will enter radio need. You will understand, you, you are from the same village. Yes. We will enter radio need shop. We will look at the way they remove transistor radio. My community, you know those transistor radio, they have they have this big, big thing that you use to the iron to remove. They are, even the weight of those transistor radio is bigger than the phone that we have today. So, gradually, this revolution happened, 
and remove away from transistor to IC circuit. And you also remember that particular television that is only those people in their house that have money that can buy such television and you have jobs. You see, some of us use those things. Like I said, we do not have spoon for those kind of things. And then the only color we knew then was when you put light on, yellow in the air, red on top. And it's only when you are good that you have those things. You know I mean? And those that could not afford it, they were said to have been backward. So what happened today? Now, in my ICT knowledge, those TV said, no matter the nomenclature you call them, they are they use cathode too. Their bonbon bon will be big like this. That's what we call cathode too. Gradually, LCD became top of the town. It's only those that are very wealthy that can uh, afford it. We call it liquid display, liquid crystal display, SUD. And the, the English meaning in the white glass screen. And our knowledge of computer also told us that when you talk about cathode ray tube, the one that have bon bon, eh? This is very cheap. Or let's say it was, we still have them. I mean, very cheap. But power consumption is uh, second to none. The money you save for not buying LCD, you will pay it through the whole Nepal phase. Those are the technology that has been disrupted by what we have on ground. Now, don't forget the size is limited to that normal size revolution. I won't go through all this one by one again. And uh, I just want you to know. I hope you are not giving me five minutes to. But that's lecture end by 8 p.m. Uh, it's too far off. Okay? So, what are we talking about? If you look at that profile, we are moving forward. Now, the LCD is still fighting its space in the time that we have. And now we have HD. How many of you still remember that we have HD now? But it's not everybody that has it at home. Not because you don't want to have it. It's because some of us cannot even transit to that new one. Mm. The complexity of the current LC is too much for us to even switch. And I'll give you an example. Some of us use Windows 98, Windows Vista, Windows SP, and all those something. Do you know today, if they, if they store Windows Correct one on your system. You will start it like on it or yeah. why? Because you cannot cope with the dictate of what is there. Mm. It has happened to so many of you. You don't want to tell me. Mm -hmm. So even office, office 2020, office 2019, some of you still use the old one because you don't want to be looking for where to edit and cut and paste. You are used to it. And me, I cannot use Mac products because I am okay with my operating system on Windows environment. Do you understand that kind of evolution? Yeah. So, in my slide, I've been able to tell you that we have concept of digital evolution which has to do with uh, a significant shift in human society, traditional industry, mechanical, analog, electronic technology, and it also has to do with an economy based on information technology. Just before I entered this place, we were discussing 5G, and we were highlighting what 5G can do for us. Only if, whether they are lying or not is not an issue. But the fact that some of us still find it difficult to switch to 4G, and now 5G is on ground. Most of the devices we are holding that you bought 1.4 million, 1.5 million, are still on 4G. So if care is not taken, those devices will be useless in a matter of time. Mm -hmm. Some of you also carry 5G enabled devices, but you have never enabled it because of the fact that the capacity of that phone is more than your own capacity. Mm -hmm. So how do you want to move? When some of us can do our job completely even in the car, 
and you, you are looking for office to do your job. It means you must travel from your home to your office before your job can be done. So you will not move forward. And unfortunately, the society has its way of forgetting about your history to remember it later. Mm. It used to be our chief accountant that no computer. Mm. But now, this is the man. And if the organization wants to change the reporting line, all they need to do is to bring most little girl, little boy. They will just bring him for the first time and say, um, you know, Mr. So so so, uh, this is one of our uh, executive training. Is attached to you, please let him know all the things you are doing. Okay, you are handing over gradually. <laughs> After six months, the next thing is that they will not demote you, they will promote you to where your relevancy fits mm. as an accountant, and they will not place uh, you can take over. That's how to replace those that don't want to move with. And we have a positive and negative factor that explains. Digital resolution, you see it in the slide like greater uh, connectedness, easier communication, information overload, rise in internet predator like ACA. ACA also force us to do what? To even reset our brain. So as you are moving gradually in the world of information technology, you must be thinking about people that will not make you achieve your goal in terms of natural disaster that comes with human efforts. Going at the days when we were, when we were learning system development life cycle in ICANN, which course is that then? I think we were doing MIS those days. And that's where you learn about parallel changeover. You think ICANN was stupid for letting you know. You think that system development life cycle sir, was only for ICT? No! What CBF could not do is to learn system development life cycle. Because you must be able to capture the fact that when you want to introduce new currency, did you learn change over immediately, parallel, or those things we were taught? But because of what some of us that learn accounting in the CBN want to eat, we will not tell them the truth in the CBN. Or are you saying there is no chance like that in the CBN? You think CBN is idiot not to have so many ICANN members? What happened? System development, like if the current new student are not doing it. What about all of us? What about the user's department that you must carry it along before a new system can work? You think those things were just theory? And as far back as just 1990, whatever, those concepts are still very relevant. And that was why we learned it in MIS. So we have order of digital transformation. And for you to be successful, you must plan, and under the planning, we have customer behavior, current state, industry change, achievable goals. We don't have time to elaborate. But if you see my full paper that I sent, you, you will be tired reading it. Okay? The other one is acceleration. In the acceleration, you have solving multiple problems legacy mobilization or modernization and preparing people. Again, you have implementation side which has to do with adoption, innovation, and strategy. You have learned a lot in uh, strategic financial management. Those are people that formulate that course. They are not idiots. It is strategic on its own, and we have financial management. In the strategy, we have strategic fees and every other one. Now, strategic fees is only one I want to explain. We have this building, and this is my space. Whatever I want to do, I will fit myself into this room. But don't forget that there are some rooms that are very small. You should also have strategy in order to ensure that you are not inside the box. Those are the reasons. So the strategy must be there. Then you must measure. And in terms of measurement, you have employee productivity, adoption and performance, customer experience, digital return on investment. Because whatever you are moving to, you must be able to show us that there is a return on investment. And any business you do in life that the return is less than 30 cents, you have not done well for yourself. So we have merits of digital revolution. And the merits will come from the form of access to the information quickly. You can imagine those days. I remember there was some time that I need to give management report and I'm on Lagos by the Express Road some 2007 and I have to pack to hold my big 
uh, what's the name of that laptop? Very heavy laptop. I thought I was the only one using laptop in my company. But the issue was that you have to pack, do it, and now be dictating. You can't even snap because the beta phone was Motorola, whatever again. But this time around, you can compose, do your work, and transmit it. In fact, when Tally 9 came, 2007 and thereabouts, you will realize that it was the only, apart from Oracle, the only enterprise resource uh, system that we have. But when others came now, we give them run for their work, for their money, and their everybody is not doing So they were the only one that have system that when your accountant is working, the Management can be looking, viewing the reports, even the reports viewing because of interconnectivity those days. That's a problem. Because I remember in my company, Port Chemical Industry Limited in our world. Another merit is connectivity. Another one is innovation, then efficiency. Efficiency and effectiveness are not the same. But there's nothing that will be efficient that will not have effectiveness in it. If I carry a hammer, it will kill lizard, right? Or let's say cockroach. If I carry a hammer, I can use it to kill cockroach. But if I carry broom, I can also use it to kill cockroach. If I carry my slippers, slippers, not sheep, it will also carry cockroach. Which one will do the killing without much stress? That's when we come talk about efficiency. Every car will take you from Iban to Lagos. But some will get there before the other. Some will use one million liters of petrol before the other. Some will make you to sweat. Like my own, you have to sweat because there's no money. <laughs> but if you is this one, you just be cruising. You know? <laughs> let, the let the traffic be there. Those are revolution. But if you refuse to move with the revolution, you'll be using the kind of my car 1,000 years ago. But it's still working. <laughs> Notwithstanding the benefits of digital revolution, we see how the kind of problem of it with like cyber security. In the same MIS module, we were talk about series of activities of hacker. And one thing you need to learn today is that antivirus produced two days ago will not have potency of killing virus produced today. Mm -hmm. How many of you know that virus is a program? Yes. It's a sort of related program written to disrupt your system. Mm. So, as they give you pencil, then they do eraser. Mm -hmm. But eraser manufactured 10 years ago will not work for pencil today. That's just what the information technology and disruption is talking about. You must be there all the time. Digital divide, privacy issue. Mm. In fact, job displacement. I'm one of the advocates that Information technology they can never displace me. Mm. You know why? Gun can kill, but gun will never shoot like that for the need human being to pull the trigger. So that's where you are supposed to fit in as an accountant. Mm. You must be on top. Leave the debit receiver credit giver is is there, no problem. But when you want to credit giver, don't forget that some people will bypass that. That is science of accounting. And um, uh, 1494, record of Father Dr. Uh, Reverend Luca Pasioli has gone, but he only documented the accounting. He was not that the one that invented it. Though the summa the arithmetical nonsense that he gave us is still what we use today. But we have packaged and repackaged such to suit what we are doing today. And you must learn along the line that yes, we need the principle. Where will you be needed? For any computer guru to produce any program, they need you, financial guru, to sit beside them. And that's why when you talk about software, we can divide it into two uh, system software and application software, if you still remember. The one that is application software can also be divided into generalized and user-defined. User-defined is what concerns you because you are the user, 
you are the financial guru, and you must be able to do what? To understand the flow of financial and accounting in order to tell the computer guru that. Pick a code that will say when we enter one, it should perform two things. Go to the left side, put one. Go to the left side, put another one. You, they need you. But the moment you do not understand the science behind every transaction, as given to all by conceptual framework for financial reporting, the latest one was 2018 March. Then you have failed in your responsibility as a child accountant. We some work out to love you all. But we need those whole things in order to propel us to the final and the upcoming one. So uh, I have another slide on digital revolution on accounting industry. But please link what I've been saying because the time they gave me expired like. 30 minutes ago. I'm just using uh, so opportunity of digital resolution to account and one automation. Don't be afraid of the information technology advancement because it enables you to have rest of mind. Forget about your relevancy. They will not replace you because they still need you to come and talk to them. Chat GPT can do that, no problem. But when it comes to the time, you will know that that's chat GPT is talking about. Some have come like that. They thought it will replace us. It is the norm. Some people need to also understand what it means. Some people wrote that thing. They did not write it It was a result of so many years of work. He failed like that. He failed like that. They say he has written that kind of drama. He failed like that. He failed like that. He failed like that. He failed like that. He gave the final exam of the MBA to Chat GPT and he had a B plus. And um, I think in medicine he had a fantastic result. In law, of course, he had a very fantastic result. But in accounting, he scored forty seven percent. So he failed hopefully and in fact I'm sure it's gonna be worse. Because it's, it's difficult to it's, it's difficult to if you don't understand accounting you can't understand that. It's not all accountants that can do that conveniently. Uh -huh. So that analytics is still there. Some people are going to UK to go and learn it. Ten thousand pounds on your own, but you must understand that data are just raw parts that need information. Your ability to understand the pattern of data will help you a lot. And data mining and the likes. The current digital evolution that we have, we also have. we now have digital communication. Now, that's the course I'm taking. Law students now is that's to do with ICT law. Now, we realize in that course that there are some certain things that law will not permit you to use, but that's not where we are going. Where we are going is that we have some services that are supposed to be separately um, given. That's in Ibo, I don't understand now. If you are supposed to, there are service A, B, C, and D. A vendor should give A, another vendor should give B. But because of technological revolution, one vendor can now do all these things. And now, look at the phone they are using. This same phone, can you, you can use it to call, you can use it to send data, you can use it to do video, you can even use it to do video conferencing. That is the problem we have now. So if you are not taking those mushroom companies that will do like Nitel, only call, that you go and kill before you can talk to your brother in the... Uh, and your lost <laughs> while you are not man, they are out of business. Now, fax. Oh God, when was the last time you do for fax? Faxing machine. <laughs> and you know how much you spend to get in document fast. So those are the services, those things that you felt they were revolutionary technological activities. They are gone because you still need to get number for fax. When you want to buy a printer in those days, we have dog matrix printer, UBA. They will understand those. You work with UBA, old UBA. You know why you want to print your statement? The Excel sheet that they normally use for those of us that wrote why not therefore. That Excel spreadsheet they use, they call it Excel spreadsheet that they use to print why. It is those Epson printer that can do it. If you go and buy Epson printer for anybody now. Is useless. In fact, you need 
but you can't go carry it. I'm not joking. Okay, be, we were, see, we are not young people again, no. And that thing, you can remember our own. That's only where you can get your bank statement. And that is why a good accountant must be able to differentiate between. I hope I'm not referring to my view of bad things. A good accountant must understand the kind of technology that you need to do your job. If you are the life that wants to send proposal, you don't have business in laser jet. Laser jet of the old one. And somebody will ask you, what's the difference between laser jet? What is laser jet? I won't tell you. Now we have desk jets. That one sprinkle in. The problem with that is that it's good for proposal. Don't call me a nail. It's good for proposal. But by the time you print two or three pages and you put it on top of the desk, what happens? A good accountant must understand. Now, for those of you that invested heavily on desk jet, the cost of the printer itself is nothing. But the bon uh, ink, the money is enough to buy another printer. So as you are buying new ink, you are exactly buying another printer. If you don't understand all these things, the future is not bright. <laughs> no, because it's movement. It's movement. Now, look at how laser jet, especially HP, want to win business for themselves for this jet. They now produce laser jet that can now print color. Because that was the disadvantage of laser jets in those days. I don't know whether you follow, you just print terminal on the road and you go. These are the things that will not make you relevant if you don't understand that process. You want to recommend to your client that you just setting up business and you don't know the right tools to recommend and you are not looking for computer to come, to come and you have lost that job. You have, I can't lose such that kind of job. I will explain to you. And it's not what you will come and read down and down. You must be following the trend in accountancy from day one that you have joined. Not that today you now want to know everything. No, it's going to be difficult. And that's why some of us do not qualify on time. Okay, so um, challenges are there. And uh, one of the challenges and the solution to that is that you need to continue to upskill yourself. You must know that you are in a competitive environment and you must go with competition. Professor uh, uh, Akitola Bello, those days, taught us a course in 2006 in my MBA class competing for future. I studied the course very well because it made me to realize that we are in a competitive environment. And some of us that came from polygamous family, you must compete well, otherwise you do not benefit from the house. <laughs> yes, there will always be food, but if you are not sharp, you will not benefit. So all those street wise and techniques must work with. I'm not saying we should all be on the street, but just know that Every time I can produce this new member, they produce new competitor for you. If you want to maintain your seniority, you must have more than what they have. And don't forget, they are the one that owns the current technology. You are the one that's catching up. How will they respect you? I'll leave that. Accounting system with digital revolution AI. Um, I will not go there too much, but just know that the world need us as accountants. Solution to digital resolution challenges are there. The balance with your emotion, innovation and creativity, analytical sound judgment, addition making. Some of us are too egoistic to the extent that you see where you should go, but because of the fact that you don't want them to know that you are deficient in that, you will not ask questions. You don't need that kind of thing. So, digital and technological skill. The <laughs> Do you know that the spiritual world is also being altered by the, the technology? Psychological and emotional world is also being altered. What about physical world? Some people even believe that there's no God in it because there's nothing they want to produce that they cannot produce. Mm. But we need to be careful when we get to that realm. Mm -hmm. Conclusion. The, uh, it is good for me to let you know that um, the digital revolution has had a profound impact on nearly every aspect of modern life, including marital situation. I remember, sir, I will come back to you. Nine o'clock those days, you will see every member of my family in our sitting room. What is it? NTA news. <laughs> when was the last time as a family we sat together? You will be in the same sitting room. One is watching Africa magic, one is on the phone. 
and you'll be smiling with the phone, but you're not smiling within yourself. I did not say anything. So the rise of internet has allowed for unprecedented connectivity and communication across the globe that's leading to a kind of massive increase in the speed and availability of information. Something happened within the last two days. One document is in the market. What was the market? Please, don't talk on the item because I know they don't know it. That's why I said they should not talk. So from this side of the family, there was a document sent out within the last two days. What was that document? Who can tell me? See? Do you know that FDA released bill to National Assembly and all of us now have it on our own? How many of you have opened two pages of it? Do you know why some of us are reading it? Not because I love God, not because I love mobility, but because some people are already sitting somewhere that say, God, you come and talk to us one day. Something that came out the same day that all of us are seeing it. So as an accountant, by the time that document is five days old, you will no longer have any information to say about it. And you are losing your relevancy small, 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 small. Some people will forward something to you. You will just pass and buy. It's not the blood of the lamb. So it's only when the dead see the blood of the lamb that it will pass over. You, when you see those documents, you should download. I hate it when a document comes to the general platform and somebody will now come in three days. Yeah, that document, can you send it? How can I send it? Are you not alive when it's ending? <laughs> so what? Apart from those of us that are in meeting, marathon meeting, when you are back from that meeting, please, just even if you don't want to read, just know the name of the document. How does it affect you? Keep it. Don't come and ask me to send it to you tomorrow. Because we are in the same society. And no, even when they write secret, we say have it. So please, God bless you. Know the name they will even put on it. We see how it. So you do not have any choice. That document is about 25, 27 pages. It is not more than that, though. So why don't you just download? Whether you like it or yes, because it's coming from the presidency to author the bill that was passed that the president did not sign, it means that this one will say true. And I can bet it with you. It will say true on time. So if you start now, you will not be bamboozled. You know when you get to a family meeting and somebody is talking about meeting, by the time you say, you start saying, that's so, uh -huh, then you are losing your relevancy in that way. Because you don't understand what is going on. And that is one thing the accountancy profession does not like. It's on this note, I want to say thank you to my council member for listening to a small boy like me. I want to say thank you to the district that invited me to come and talk and your specific members of this district. Thank you so much. Thank you so very much. Please keep up here on the agenda. Thank you. Keep up here. Thank you for being here. Please be seated. Okay, at this point, we are going to...